is something that we think is a walk in the park, especially in this part of the world. And we also have a very interesting way of assuming everything is dry cleaning. But there's actually a difference between laundry services and dry cleaning. Today on the show, you're going to find out what the difference is and what makes it different. And you're also going to know how to iron your clothes properly. And you know, on this show, I do not do it alone. I have a celebrity in the house doing it with me. More like she's doing it herself with her teacher. I'm just going to stay pretty watching them do whatever it is they are doing today. But, you know, I'm usually not alone. And so, in a short while, you're going to know who my celebrity is today. It's Try My Job with Ola. Stay tuned. Come on, shake me. Oh. Good afternoon. Of course, still in <laughs> Okay, Sibran. Oh, Linda. Linda of Sigma. Wow. Um, do you live around here? Um, yeah, I do. Because you look like you since I see on MTV Bays. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> don't flatter me. No, I'm not. You're funny. Well, uh, I have to go. Okay, you're welcome back. As you can see, I have the very beautiful Linda of C4 here with me, and she's going to try <laughs> dry cleaning for today. Linda, you're welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Likewise. You're looking very nice. Likewise and with you, with your breakable. melanin popping. <laughs> Breakable. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to be cutting wood or no, not necessarily? But you're just looking very fragile. Like okay. No, no. I'm a like Nigerian woman. A We're bit. ready. You're very ready. Yeah. Very. Okay. So you're going to try the whole process. Okay. It's not as easy as you think it is. And she was telling me, little expo. She was telling me that the most difficult part of this job is trying to iron a man's hmm. pants. Pants like, as in trousers. The trousers, okay. Yeah, it is the most difficult part because you need to get the gators right and all of that. And okay. it's a whole lot of work. So I said, okay, I think Linda should try it. I think that might help me, you know, in the future yeah. to be able to iron my hubby's pants very well. Exactly. So that he would know that. You know, the good thing we try with is we, we, we empower you. Yes. Because you never can tell when you need exactly. it. Exactly. You so, know. Okay, so it's time <laughs> for you to meet your teacher for today. She's going to put you through the whole process. And then we'll see how well you fare. She's going to rate you on a scale of 1 to 10 anyway. So while you're doing the job, just remember that, okay, they're marking you or scoring okay. you somewhere. Oh, all right. I'm always a 10, darling, so I never get less okay. than that. So let's Fingers see how <laughs> this works. <laughs> I'm joking. All right, dear. So, so let's just get into it. And all right. the show continues in a bit. Let's try my job with Zola. The biggest revolution in dry cleaning came around in the early 19th century. Traditionally, Jean Baptiste Jolly of France is generally named the father of modern dry cleaning. The story goes that in 1825, a careless maid knocked over a lamp and spilled turpentine on a dirty tablecloth. Jolly noticed that once the turpentine dried, the stains that have made the fabric were gone. He conducted an experiment where he bathed the entire tablecloth in a bathtub filled with turpentine and found that it came clean once it dried. Jolly used this method when he opened the often claimed first modern dry cleaning shop, Time Terra Jolly Bellin in Paris. However, a patent for a process called dry scoring was filed with the US Patent Office in 1821. A man by the name of Thomas Jennings was a clother and a tailor in New York City, and soon the first African American to be granted a patent in the United States. So while working as a clother, he, like so many others in his profession, was familiar with the age-old customer complaint that they could not clean their more delicate clothes once they become stained because the fabric wouldn't hold up to the traditional washing and scrubbing. Jennings thus began experimenting with different cleaning solutions and processes before discovering the process he named dry scoring. His method was a hit and not only made him extremely wealthy, but allowed him to buy his wife and children out of slavery. This was brought to you by the Try My Job Team, a production of The Vision Media Concept. Okay, so here's your teacher for today, Mrs. Inse. Mrs. Inse, you're welcome on the show. Thank you. She's the owner of the Wash Depot and 
you guys do a lot here because I noticed that when I went around, I saw a whole lot of things going on. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take us through the entire process. You know, we had one deal. <laughs> 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 so pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to keep that deal. Don't worry. Uh, about the deal was the <laughs> no island of plants. <laughs> no uh, problem. That, you know what? Preparing you for. For the future, uh -huh. ah, us, no so. problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to learn, ma. I'm sure you will. So, yes. I'm, sure it will so be I'm going problem. to need both of you to bond. Okay. While you're enjoying your job, I'm just going to be pretty somewhere, and you will probably. <laughs> yeah, I think I should not take off nails. my. <laughs> <laughs> should I just take off everything now? No, the wig no, no for that. Actually, I'm actually in this business because I don't like the work. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, you know, strangely enough. Wow. Yeah, after I got married, I didn't want to wa wash clothes and stuff like that. So I looked for someone that could come take the trouble away. Oh, okay. I couldn't find for the price I could afford. So I started one. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I'll leave both of you to bond okay. and then I'll come check up on you from time to time to see how well you're faring. Remember, you're going to rate her on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay. So just have it at the back of your mind. Okay. Uh -huh. Be one of those lecturers <laughs> that will keep. 1% to themselves. To themselves okay? <laughs> Has to work really hard. Yeah. Sounds good. To earn that final one. Okay. okay. It's still try my job with Ola. The show continues shortly. Okay, okay, so okay, Linda. So you're welcome to the wash depot. Thank you. This is our laundromat section, so I'll take you through where it's the same process with the other side, right? So typically, when a customer walks into a laundromat, they want to have their items washed. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other aspect of our business is that we also dry clean as a different aspect. But As, today okay. we're going to be talking basically about laundromat, okay. which is really about laundry. Okay. okay. People always say laundry that what's the difference? Laundry is you put it inside. What's the difference between laundry, laundry and, and the dry cleaning? Dry right? cleaning. Yes. Okay. Difference is for the laundry. Shirts like this that are cotton shirts, okay. usually everything comes with um, a care label instruction, really. Almost okay. every item you have, because by law, um, the manufacturers are expected to put a care label. Yeah, yes. it is. Okay. A care label instruction. What it does is to give you at least one way to safely clean an item. Okay. Okay, so for this, for example, you can see that. It says we can wash at 40 degrees, mm. okay? Then we can... Oh, it shows you the degrees. Oh, yes, it shows. For some items... And I never knew that one. Oh, well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> For some items, it's 30, so okay. it depends. So okay. that's why you bother to check the care okay. level instruction, right? Okay. Okay, so when people come into the laundromat, typically they want to wash their clothes. Yes. Okay, so what we have here is shirts, right? And um, typically for a shirt, there's some areas you have to pay particular attention to. Such as? Such as the collar area. Okay. Like you the know armpits. Where in, the, yes. The, the armpits. Ah, yeah, in Nigeria. Ah, very you important this, area. Yes. Even when people sit in the AC all day, you'll be amazed <laughs> the grime that comes from the collar. Yes, just sitting in the office. Sensitive areas, the, yeah. Yes. And then the curves. Okay. And then, of course, the body of the items and all that. With the spinning, I really thought that was quite... Um, I thought that was unique because I've I've sort of not seen the washer and the spinner and the dryer all in different aspects. So seeing that you can do so many things with all that three was amazing. So um, the sorting first and foremost is um, okay. Let's say you have this color red shirt, colors. right? This red. Do you never mix red with anything in the wash? Okay. okay. So then we have to wait. Oh, so you yes. guys wait. So have clothes. a skill. Yes. Ah, so you just put the basket on the. The scale, okay. and it tells you what you have. Typically, you have you can put up to two kgs in the but washer. What's the okay? So that's the maximum that's for, the maximum you for this kind of size, size of washer. washer. Okay. Yes. So once that's done, you you spot like we said earlier. Check for stains and all that. Yes. And then you can go into the machine. So this now I can take it and. And just okay, open. Yeah, just but I want to understand. Um, okay, do I do I have to put any soap, any items first? Oh, Does yes. what I have to, to start? No, no, no. First things first is clothes in the machine. Clothes in, okay. Yeah, clothes in the machine. The, the way the machine is wired, it's okay. it will just anyhow. Does I don't have to put matter. it inside out, right? No, no, it doesn't okay. matter. So now we've put the shirts in the in the washer. Okay, okay. we put it on. Automatically, it would pick. It will it will start. Pulling water. Okay. Because it's it's a machine, right? Mm -hmm. They've done that. So once it pulls water, it takes enough water, put detergent in here, and then you shut it. And once it has taken enough water, okay. it just begins to 
to wash. Okay. So I want to. So when when you now put soap, does it matter what kind of soap? Because I always see in the in the um, grocery stores they have the powder, yeah, the powder and the uh, detergent one, and the you know and the liquid detergent. Yes, the liquid detergent. Does it matter which ones? Because I've used some powder ones before, and when you when the clothes are fully washed. washed you can see the Sods. soap. The, yeah. yeah the soap How come? That happens when you have too much soap in the wash. Ah. Yes. So I need to measure. There's a measure. Them well. Yes. For okay. for a full load, you don't need more than maybe mm. two two spoons. So it's not like putting mangi, you just say, mm, this is enough. No, it's enough. No. If you have too much, <laughs> you, have, you leave the those suds on it. And they ah. have to rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse. To get and rinse it off. To okay. get it off. Yes. Okay, so now the cycle is complete, okay. right? So we take the clothes from the washer and then we go over to the spinner. Okay. Is just and there. do I like take a basket, yeah, take you a know? Basket and just but I can walk in with the basket like, honey, your clothes are almost ready. I'm and sure. I go to the like that now. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it does the thing. So now next stage is to put it in the spinner. You mm -hmm. notice it's a bit um still wet. Yeah. Okay, but a lot of the water has been taken out already. So we put that in the spinner. Okay, it's fine. So it's not Wow. It's spinning already. It's it. Yes. Wow. It comes out almost dry. Okay. Yeah, so we can, can just okay, you can just bring that out. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So in other words, to really do well, you must go, you must do each process step yes. by step. Yes. You Interesting. Have to. You have to. Otherwise, you'll have to start the process again. This is a big dryer. Yes, it is. So a lot of clothes can fit in. Yes, it is. This one. The idea like, for a lot of people is that. If you do a load, maybe like we separated the clothes and all that, yeah. right? By the time it comes out of the spinner, you can actually have more than one load in yes, the dryer. Yes, at the same time. Yes, at the okay. same time from the washers. Interesting. So you could actually use two, three washers at the same time. And, and one just, dryer. Yes. At, so, okay. Because yeah. this looks like, you know, I can put my mattress, my pillow, <laughs> everything. All those, my clothes I've been using on set, put everything inside. <laughs> okay. okay, so yeah. how does your, how do you do the dryer part? Okay, so the dryer is, um, it's um the settings are there. You okay. Know, you know what I said earlier that these days you can wash almost anything in the washer, right? Mm -hmm. So it's there. So you have the permanent press, you have your delicate, mm -hmm. then you have your more extra care and then So this goes back to what you were saying with the yes, colours. With the colours, and the delicates and the kind of clothes, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so depending on what you want to do, what we're doing are curtains, right? So, so we just normal. Go normal. So we come Automatic all the way curtains. here. Ah. Yes. And we just set it. This was made for me to make life easier. Uh, that's your life, See? Jeff. That's your life, actually. <laughs> what Jeff is there to bring. Make your life yes, easier. Make your life okay. easier. Give, especially to the women. So, um, so once the cycling is done, we take out the clothes. Okay. okay. Until nice and warm. Oh, this is hot. Mm -hmm. ah. That's why the cotton setting is the highest yeah. setting because. So something like that, you can just take them and snip. Oh, yeah. but I shouldn't do that. I don't know who's caught it. They'll say, ah, that's my shirt. That girl is, <laughs> is, is rubbing her makeup on. It's her last shirt. Wash the pot! These shirts belong to Allah. <laughs> okay, so I, can, <laughs> so I can do this then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll put that back in the basket and then over to the pressing room. Okay. okay. So that's the main work that's now. That's the main work. Oh, yeah, now. Let's mm -hmm. do well, it. I'm sure we will do it with some panache. Sounds great. Don't worry. <laughs> And I'm um, going to the back room to see how the clothes are dry cleaned and how it's been ironed. That was the cocoa. That was the work. I thought that was a bit difficult because such kind of atmosphere is hot. The iron or the um, pressing iron is hot. Everything is hot. I was hot. Literally sweaty hot. <laughs> this is where... The oh my. Other part of the work is done. Wow. This is where we're going to do the pressing. So, this okay. is where it really happens. Yes, this is the gemba. The gemba. Yes, this Oshay. is where the value is added. <laughs> wow. Value is created here. Okay. okay. So, we put this here. So, we want to press the shirt. This, for, this is called the finishing table. Okay. Ah. So, professionally, what you say is that you want to finish. The, sh the shirt. You want to press and finish the shirt. Now I see why she said I'm going to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you won't suffer. You'll enjoy it. Okay. Okay. So first things first, the the, the table is actually specified for mm -hmm. this kind of work. So In I'm fact, just I'm serious. Ah, mama, I'm serious. So okay. Hmm. Okay. So so first things first. If you notice, the table is um, designed specifically to for fabrics, right? Okay. So if you notice, you can 
We start off there. Okay. Okay. And this is the iron that okay. you use. It's a so it's a, okay. Yes, okay. Already and all okay. that. And then, okay, so stand there and okay. press, and then just run the iron okay. over it. Okay, just press and run at the same time. Just then, run, just run. Yes. Okay, excellent. You see, I'm yeah. such a good wife. Yeah. That is yeah. how it's done. Mm -hmm. And then the work is finished, right? Mm -hmm. Not, 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 oh, it's not, not all. Not yet. It's a lot of you work. Know, you know there are various parts to a shirt or to a fabric, right? Absolutely. So there's still the color, there's the the cuffs, and then the, the general body, okay. right? All right, so after everything, this is what comes out. You know the beauty of this mm -hmm. is that because it's like this, right? Unlike that's our iron that we yes. use at home, right? You if can maybe still you go to the crease, you can just do that. Yeah, you fill it out. Mm. And you have a perfectly done Can I? Garment. Okay. Yeah. You can steam as much as you want because it yes. will never burn the cloth. <laughs> you like that part, right? I can actually steam what I'm wearing now. Yes, you can. Like this, yeah, ma. You it's can. okay. I'll try that. I'll try <laughs> so that, that off steam TV. Is hot, so. <laughs> that's not true. Okay. Okay. So we're good. Okay. So, perfecto. Awesome. Well done. Thank you. You've done very I well. I knew it was going to be easy. Okay, and then you know? when I did folded, <laughs> have it in this, you know, nicely folded and so packed. Okay. Yeah, yeah so. I, you guys always have it so well yeah. folded. And yes. if I were to fold clothes, I do like yama yama, it just, just doesn't fold it. Out. That's the trick of away. the game, yeah. right? So can so. you show me how it's been folded by any chance? Okay, so yeah, So I will just go. I will go back from the beginning. Okay. Right? So first things first, you break. Usually it's done at a particular ang um, angle, angle, right? Yes. So that it comes out equal. Okay. okay. And then you do this part. Even for a regular shirt, that's okay. what you do. Okay. And then you fold the sleeve. Of course, it depends on the size of the shirt okay. too. So now it's both in the middle. Yes, put in the middle. And then you gauge that um, you have like the same dimensions okay. on both sides. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so, so you must also know mathematics too. <laughs> well, at least you must have good eyesight <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so that goes like this. Okay. And that's all. And that, yeah. Okay. So I actually want to try that and see okay. if I okay, got it. Fine. Okay. Okay, so okay. we have that. Yeah, so you break and it. So we go about half diameters down. It depends, really. About maybe three quarters. Mm, All yeah, those are not happy. Yeah, <laughs> so you just drop that. And that's it. Right, yeah. Yes. Okay, wow. Up. Okay, so well done. And now we have your clothes ready to go. <laughs> See, quite yeah. easy. It's a lot of work. Okay. Yes. So Ooh, I can see uh, that hola. I eventually got mm -hmm. my ring. No, I hadn't burned my hand. I didn't. It no, was you just. Didn't, but you gave up it's just. Point. It's just a lot of you know work being put it into is. such a small shirt. Yeah. One shirt. Yeah, one just one shirt. shirt. So I'm trying to imagine about. So how many do you do in a day? Uh, depends. Sometimes depends on what you have to do really. But so on the average. On the average. Let's say 70, 80. 70, 80. 80. Yeah, sometimes wow. you actually have more than she That's a lot. Ma. <laughs> well, so that's, that's why I said we just do community <laughs> work, but please don't hire me, ma. I'm not, I'm not looking for a job no anymore. Problem. What's up, like, do you know what I'm doing this kind of work <laughs> every day? Yeah. You know? I learned one or two things in that aspect, and um, maybe one day I might have my own depot. You see, she loves it. What the day mm -hmm. she, will, she has to, I'm sure she can. That's a lie. I can't do this. It's work. Yeah. I will come will to you, them. but why would I do that when you are here? You can all come here. We can, come we can here all help we can each commu other. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it's, it's been fun watching Absolutely. you try the job. Yeah, um, so you're going, to, well. you're going to score her on a scale of one to ten, but not now. Okay. Um, okay. We'll do that in a more relaxed environment because okay. she's already getting sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I've been working so hard, yeah, like a and woman I, and the heat from does. Me. Yes, like the steam. That's a woman that supposed to, and it showed the label. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's still trying my job with all The show continues shortly. So I was really excited that I got the opportunity to see the behind the scene on how most of my clothes come out looking so perfect and shining and shimmer and beautiful and smelling. Yes, all that wonderful things. Um, Linda was just awesome. I learned from her that the attitude matters a lot. You know, she came in with so much zeal to learn. 
Hello, this is Linda Osefo, and you are watching Try My Job with Ola. My name is Nse. Keep watching Try My Job with Ola. that part of the show where we get to know more about our guests what they've learned today and um more about their jobs their individual jobs so lena is going to tell me a lot about herself and her job and mrs Linsa is going to tell us a whole lot about herself and her job also <laughs> and so they're going to share uh -huh. i didn't tell you i didn't tell her Okay. Because I wanted to put her on the spot. Okay. You have tried her job. Yes. And so somewhere along the line, she's going to try your job. Oh, Are nice. <laughs> well, I thought she already did. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. She needs to try that. acting. <laughs> Okay. okay right now. Beautiful. So you're going to be an actor for, say, two minutes? Okay. I thought I, I did that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But before then, okay. Linda, what did you learn today? Well, um... First of all, I'm absolutely honored to have such opportunity to um, come into your your field of work <laughs> to um, to learn one or two things. It's obvious that it's not as easy as it looks. Um, you know, when I compare it with my own industry, you see the finished work, you mm -hmm. see the glam and the beauty and the sophisticated absolutely. aspect on mm -hmm. TV, but then you don't see that work, the real work, because I sweat. <laughs> Let me sweat. Well, I wanted yeah, you to sweat. it was. Yeah, I was. I was. I, I sweat. Was I sweat. You know. So not because it was hot. Because I was. Uh, I don't understand. This is work hot. I didn't come here to really work. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of it. She actually I was thinking that she could just, you know, look pretty, <laughs> do it. her laundry, and then still look pretty. Yeah. And but I, I still did with you know mm -hmm. all that but um yeah i also learned that um it's you know when you really have to do things professionally mm -hmm. there's detail in, and yeah. she showed yeah. even with the trying to iron it there's there were items for each areas mm -hmm. of clothing mm -hmm. you know the pressing iron the what did you call that the the sleeve arm, the sleeve mm -hmm. arm. Maybe for trouser too, there's <laughs> leg arm or leg <laughs> leg part, and you then for I, I now I wouldn't because I I've seen it all. So yeah, it's it was really exciting. You know, interestingly, mm -hmm. it was today I found out that the most difficult piece of clothing to iron is a pair of trousers. Mm. Trousers, yes. She told me that mm -hmm. earlier. Mm. <laughs> so I did the easiest one. Well, one of the it was it was still work. God bless you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so what, what have you learned today? Oh, well, today I learned that um, there's always something to learn. Yeah. Hmm. You know, there's always something to learn. No matter how different our professions are, she came in here and she just took it on. Mm. I loved that about her. She Thank didn't you. seem phased. Yeah. She took it on, which, is, which was great, you know. So it, how long have you been in this business? A pretty long time now. I started this business in 2005. Okay. I always had a job all the while, right? Okay. And then in 2010, I stopped working full time and faced the business. So, wow, so it's been seven years. Yes, yeah, seven years. I faced all right, so Linda, how long have you been acting? Well, professionally, I relocated back to Nigeria in 2013. So okay. I got into act in 2014. Okay. So till day, we can say all right, a couple of good. few years. Yeah by God's grace for years. Okay. Yeah. So what are the major challenges? Major challenges, so it always varies depending on what I'm doing in my location and where I am. So I wouldn't say there has been anything major, major yet. Maybe, um, I really would, I really don't have any major challenge specifically. Okay. Just maybe certain locations, just trying to adjust to where you are, trying to adjust to the environment, some environment now, ha, the kind of mosquito that is there mm. came ready for you. <laughs> so that that is a yeah, challenge. A <laughs> yes. So Linda, she's going to try your job now. Okay. Uh, should I give her? Uh, should I give her like a task? <laughs> oh, mm, or, mm? Give her an acting task. Let's see. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to call you. So we're going okay. to pretend like we're on a, you know, oh, okay. a call right now. Okay. So. We can improvise. Okay. When I mean improvise, flow with it. Okay. Whatever comes out your mouth, just don't insult me. <laughs> in Are you ready? Okay, okay. I'm ready. Mm. Hello. Hello. Ah, 
So, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Am I on to um, Mrs. Fumi? No. Who's on the line? Ah. Sorry, ma. I'm the girl that came to wash your clothes this morning. No? You didn't... You said it was 4,000 now, ma. And... I didn't wash any clothes this morning. I didn't have anybody who comes to wash clothes for me this morning. Ma. Are you sure you have the right number? Is this not Mrs. Fumi? Okay. I remember now. I used my other number to call you. How did you get this, this number? Sorry, are you Mrs. Fumi with that um, two husband and four children? What is your business with that one now? Oh, sorry, I said come and wash clothes. What are you doing with two husband and four children? No, it's not me, my That's how you get all these small girls used to do. How did you know? No, okay? I'm not. That's what you came to do in my house, Abby. Ma, I say. Hey, <laughs> who gave you that information? I know it's that foolish girl that I put in the backyard. Ma, no. Is it the gate hey. man? Oh, yeah. Ma. Hey, hey. Yes, ma I, we can't, I will arrest you. I know where I will arrest uh, you. No, I will deal ma. with you. It's just that. Stop uh, this uh, girl. It's just, I know your time. It's just that your husband hey, gave me my clothes to I know your time. This girl. Show. I will arrest you. This is hey. I, sorry, I was looking for Mrs. Ajay. Sorry, wrong number. That is how you used to do. That is how you used to do. Nice. <laughs> wow. Good job. I'll you give you a hug. You see? I'm waiting for you. That is how you I used to do. I recognize talent. Um, I recognize <laughs> talent when I see one. How did you bring that mm -hmm. out? <laughs> That that is what I'm trying my job. Oh, I see you're good, girls. Wonderful. Okay, cheers wow. to that. Yeah, you did a fantastic job. Really. Now, yeah, imagine now, let's do. Then take another take. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> and that's when it gets frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I was wondering why it wasn't all the time. Like, it's fun. Was perfect. It's fun. It's yeah, fun. It's it was perfect. Yeah, it was perfect, really. No, I was talking and about so what you did earlier when you were doing your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm talking about what she just did. Okay. That was you. perfect. Okay. And so I'm sure a lot of directors and producers now will come and start calling you and yes. Don't worry. You would you see we've helped you to Thank you. Well, own another talent. See, no be one no be one road then some Ten percent ma. Oh no shaking. You have more than earned one percent. Uh -uh. <laughs> for 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 rejoicing that we were sweating, eh? we got it to a half percent. Okay. Ah, fair, enough. Fair, yes, enough. Fair, enough. fair enough. Fair enough. Half for the sweat. Fair enough. Half for this way. So. All right. So, what is what do you have to say to young people? Let's start with Mrs. Nze. What is your advice to young people? To young people, especially women. Yeah, we live in. I guess every generation thinks their time was toughest, really. Yeah. But mm. we live in tough times, right? But that's life. Okay. What we have is the gift of life. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, even though it seems tough. Some people say to me that it's hopeless for the younger generation. I don't think so. I think hope is something you find within yourself. Sure. Okay. So, what's that dream? Now, when we were growing up, you had to either be a doctor, an accountant, a lawyer, or something. Now, you could be anything. You, you could aspire to be a cook. It's fine. Yeah. A chef. You could be anything. So, I say to young people, look inside. There's something there that God deposited. And it's a gift he gave to you. So there's not that much work you have to do to bring it out and to be the best at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like like he put acting in you. <laughs> and all you did was try my job to help you recognize that. Yes. <laughs> you know, so just look inwards and follow the dream. You know, okay. Nigeria can be a bit challenging, I agree. But people are still making it here. Yeah, true. And yeah, so just follow your dream. Live life. Enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so Linda, what would you advise young people? Well, what I would advise to young people, both male and female, is, um, you know, as you've watched the show, you see that in every work, you really need to put in that work. You cannot expect growth and then expect to have this finishing work, mm -hmm. you know. And I will use a um, hypothetical example. We saw that shirt, well folded. It looked so perfect. You know, and I'm sure if I give that shirt to anyone, they'll say, oh, I want that shirt, it's mm -hmm. so nice. I want shirts like that. But before you get a shirt like that, you see the work that goes into it. Yeah. So as being an actor, you know, you see the glam, you see the beauty, you being an entrepreneur, you see the finishing touch to everything, but there's really the work, there's the labor in it. So Absolutely. if you have that dream, you have that desire, it does not, and I like the show because it doesn't matter your field because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's successful Nigerians doing well. Yeah. Doesn't matter how small the business mm -hmm. is, but they are doing well in each of their mm -hmm. desired field. So you have to put in that work. You have to keep on going. 
and you will flourish like that beautiful shirt. <laughs> Simple. Okay, so you've heard it all from these wonderful ladies. As, as far as I'm concerned, they're king women. Oh, <laughs> You're welcome. And so I don't need to say anything anymore. All I would always say, like I've always said, is there is dignity in labor. Yes, mm. It's been trying my job with Ola right for now.